All right, so now the event is over. You can kind of assess the damage here on the robots. Honestly, I haven't really taken a good look at any of them except for Neanderthal Roomba there on the right. And since that one got the most fights, I guess, of the day, let's talk about him first. So, as you can see, Neanderthal Roomba is no longer a flat dustpan, which kind of defeats the purpose of it being a dustpan. This robot had two losses in the normal tournament. First loss was against Polymer, really vicious drum spinner, got under the front end of the wedge, hit me really hard, bent up the front edge, flipped me over, and I thought just because my wheels were over the top of the bot that it would drive inverted, but it turns out when it's upside down, the robot balances forward. So if you could see here, there's not just a small gap between the wheels and the floor, there's probably at least a quarter inch, I think actually more, of a gap between the wheels and the floor. So there was no hope for this thing running inverted. I'd already had to downsize the wheels to get the torque I needed out of the motors. So upgrading the wheels large enough to make it work upside down wasn't even really gonna be an option when I found this flaw. As you can see here, I did add a couple pieces. Uh, there's one on each side at one point that were supposed to kind of help prop the front end upright if it was flipped upside down. I measured them wrong. I didn't have time to remake them because in theory, I was just trying to get something that would push the robot up and let it sit on its wheels in the, the inverted state. So I took the robot and Brought it over. Fortunately, the event was in a maker space. So there was a big ass vise in the next room I was able to use to bend the wedge back into shape. I took my Dremel, redremeled the edge. It was in decent shape going into its second fight against Bob, big old blade. A fight I was definitely looking forward to. I don't think I've ever had a chance to fight that robot and it's one I've always wanted to take on. Unfortunately, Matt got under me pretty quickly. I did something and messed up my controls and turning was backwards. I thought I had it fixed, and then I somehow messed it up again. So I definitely wasn't driving the way I wanted to for that fight, and I kind of fed myself right into Bob's blade. Flipped me upside down, same story as the polymer fight. Matt did hit me again at the end of the fight and flipped me into the pit. And I think this is the spot right here on the front. I think that's it. It was worse before I did, once again, flatten out the blade, or flatten out the wedge but I'm pretty sure that's the gash he put there in the edge of the wedge. And last but not least was the Beetleweight Rumble. I decided to use the Neanderthal Roomba because I thought Gorgor was going to be a bit too fragile and taking a bit too much damage to be effective. Flattened everything out again, smoothed down the wedge, and the fight went a lot better than any of the one-on-one -on -one matches. I ended up being able to survive until the end. I was flipped over. I think Polymer did it yet again. For some stupid reason, I went right into Bob and Polymer at the beginning of the fight. And I don't know why I thought that was going to end differently than the one-on-one -on -one matches. But for some reason, I did. But once I got flipped this time, I was actually able to drive. I think because the frame had warped a little bit or the floor had warped. Something like that. But I managed to feed myself into another one of the drum spinners. I forget which one of the two. It's either Polymer or Dr. Horrible. Got myself flipped back over, but unfortunately the edge of the wedge you can see is, well, not a wedge anymore. It's really beat up, torn up, bent. So I wasn't gonna be doing much pushing with that. Couldn't really get under anybody with it. But the robot did survive to the end of the fight and I'm actually pretty happy about that. Just to see it live beyond getting knocked over and dying. You can see here on the back is a little more damage, some little gashes in the aluminum. There's some on the underside as well. It got torn up a little bit down there. At one point, I think I was actually on top of Polymer as a hat, so that was awesome. And over on this side, you can see they actually split the weld there. I had ground down the weld, so I might have just weakened it, but yeah, the weld is completely broken now. I think Neanderthal Roomba, if it's going to continue on, it definitely needs a new frame. I was talking to one of my friends last night about some different options that could be used for it. Uh, but I think this frame needs to be done away with because it is just a little too bendable. I think the CNCing that was done in here just really doesn't lend itself well to taking an impact on that edge. As soon as it gets hit, it just wants to bend. So I want to figure something out that's going to be a little more resilient, whether it's harder material or going a plastic route where it's going to flex rather than bend permanently. The only thing I do know about this robot is I would love to put brushless drive in it. I've seen some tutorials out there and I think they are using these same gearboxes. I might be wrong, but 
that seems like it would be a pretty easy swap. Gorgor was a little disappointing. In my defense, I'll say I went up against the two robots that did get first and second place in the Beetleweight category. First place was Trilobiter, and second place was Deadpan. I technically won two fights without actually fighting. My first two opponents had to forfeit their matches. The first was supposed to be Sawmill, a vertical spinning saw, and the second was supposed to be Herpaderp, which is like mini Hypershock. And I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to fight either one of those fights. So I went right in against Trilobiter. I had actually borrowed a piece of insulation foam. I saw an ant weight that had been eliminated from the competition. Terminator, I think, was the ant weight's name. And they were using insulation foam. I asked if they had any extra, and they actually just gave me the base of the robot. So super appreciate that. But I tried to stick it in Gorgor's mouth and kind of feed it into Trilobiter to slow it down. But somewhere along the line... I messed something up and my wedgelets in front that were supposed to help me prevent from tipping forward actually high centered the robot and made it so it was really hard to drive. I couldn't really control what was going on. I didn't really realize that until the fight had started. I thought it was something to do with the foam being stuffed in the mouth was dragging or something. But fortunately, Trilobiter did rip both wedges off, so I was able to drive a little better, but continued to get smacked around until eventually some wires came loose, some parts disconnected, and I wasn't able to drive anymore. I haven't really torn Gorgor apart yet to see exactly what went wrong. I have noticed in some areas, like if you look inside the mouth, you can see the jaw assembly is a little bit warped. The lifting servo stopped working completely. I don't know if it's broken or if the wiring just got messed up. It looked like it was still wired, but I didn't really have time to test it thoroughly because it really requires disassembling way too much of the robot to get in there. And I didn't want to have a half complete robot when I still had another match to go. I did lose one of the lower little ramps here but i'm gonna replace those with something else for the next version of it and i did lose a wheel in the fight but i was able to reattach it my motors are a little iffy now i'm not sure if they're ever gonna bolt back in one of them had a bent shaft that i kind of straightened out so once i get gorgor disassembled i'll be able to tell if that's salvageable or not so that was a loss by knockout. My second fight with Gorgor was up against Deadpan. That was a fun fight. That went the full distance. My lifter wasn't working. My upper jaw was working for the beginning of the fight. Alex cracked Gorgor right over the head pretty early on, but I actually was able to get him up over onto his back by doing that. And that fight did go the distance. It was kind of just a driving match. Not the most exciting fight in the world, but... It was a good showdown. I think he deservedly won the fight. He was able to put the hammer down right into this gap back here. I think he actually hit my servo a couple times. But he was able to put the hammer right back into this gap here and kind of drag me around a little bit. There was a point where we were both on the edge of the pit and we got stuck, so they had to separate us. It was a fun fight. I'm definitely glad to be able to fight against Alex. I haven't competed against him in like 13 years or something stupid like that. So I was, I was very happy to have that opportunity. I think Gorgor is going to get rebuilt. I can only bring one beetle weight to Dragon Con. And I think Gorgor is the one that's going to come with me. I'm going to disassemble it, see what needs to be bought to fix it up. Eventually, there's going to have to be a 3.0 version of Gorgor that is a little more precision. But I think if I did some good CAD work and actually had stuff cut out professionally it might be able to survive a little better than the last two incarnations have and last but not least electric eye my 150 gram bot there weren't enough bots to have a real tournament so we did two different rumbles i honestly couldn't tell you if they were both considered for the actual fairy weight tournament or if one was to pick the winner and one was literally just a rumble i honestly have no clue what was going on i was just happy to get a chance to fight with this guy and somehow I ended up with second place. I, I don't know how much I really deserve that. I feel like I didn't do the best job, but somehow I got voted for second place. So I, I can at least be happy about that, I guess. But the first rumble went okay for about 30 seconds before Mustachio pushed me into Invertigo and I lost a wheel. I was able to kind of crab walk around the arena, occasionally getting hit by Invertigo's horizontal blade. I did manage to get a couple flips in on Mustachio, but nothing spectacular. This robot had some weight distribution issues. I think next time I build it, I'm going to try to keep everything more in a line so that the wheels have more weight over top of them because I could drive much better with the fork up than I could with the fork down. And that's kind of a problem when that's your weapon is keeping the fork on the ground. I think I was one of the two last robots surviving in the second rumble, but most of that I spent with my Lipoly battery hanging out the front of the robot, swinging around like some kind of incredibly flammable flail. 
So that wasn't really the best case scenario for that fight, but I was actually kind of sadistically hoping the battery would get hit and erupt into flames, but also I didn't want anybody to have to deal with that mess either. But Electra Guy is definitely getting rebuilt. I like the design. It was fun, but I totally rushed building it. Didn't take a whole lot of damage besides losing the wheel twice. There is some cuts there in the armor, but nothing severe. It's really nothing that I can't fix pretty quickly. But like I said, new body. Maybe see if I can get somebody to help me 3D print one. I have some ideas basically where to go with it. But I want to bring it back. I have fun making these really tiny bots. Definitely want to say thank you to Kurt and his family for putting on the event. It was a great location. Really fun day. Very excited that they're going to be doing more of these in the future. It honestly wasn't as bad of a drive as I thought it was. I thought it was much further than three and a half hours from May. So that made life a lot better too. I think they're having another event mid-September. And well, if anything survives Dragon Con, I'm going to try to do that maybe. Hopefully. If not, the next event after that is the Orlando Maker Fair. But yeah, right now my sole concentration is going to be on getting Gorgor back up and running for Dragon Con. I've got three weeks, so hopefully I can get this thing back in fighting form and drive up to Atlanta with it.